What's going on YouTube? Jolani from JolaniTheMarketer.com here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to teach you how to build a sales funnel from complete scratch using a service called ClickFunnels. But before I do that, give me a subscribe if you are new to the channel because I always post new content and relatable stuff related to affiliate marketing, digital marketing, um, drop shipping, stuff like that. So definitely uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that alert button as well so you know when I post a new video. Now I'm assuming you're on this video because you want to learn how to build a sales funnel uh, meaning you want to learn how you can take your product if it's a physical product and put it online now this service that I'm about to show you called click funnels if you don't have it yet click the link below you can get a two-week free trial um, so you can test it out and see if you like it and follow along um, with this video but what I'm about to show you is how to take your product if it's um, from a physical form and put it online so that you can start making more money I'm going to show you guys how to actually do upsells um, one-time offers also um, I'm going to show you guys down sales as well and just building out the funnel from scratch so you guys can see what the power um, of what click funnels can do for you so if you knew if you knew um, just stay tuned and get your free two-week trial by clicking the link below and then you can come back and follow along with this video now what we're gonna do here is once you're signed in we're going to go to build funnel okay and this is where this is the click funnel dashboard um, looks really sleek and clean but we're gonna click on build funnel and what we're actually going to do is we're going to click on they give you a lot of different um, templates that you can use but for my workflow I just like using the classic funnel builder which is basically saying I want to sell a product so click on sell your product um, and it's going to be a so sell your product it's going to be a sales funnel you can also choose a product launch uh, or a membership funnel as well so we're going to do sales funnel we're going to give our funnel a name so we're going to say something like um, All right, and then we're also going to give it um, a tag. So we'll just say YouTube. And we're going to click on Build Funnel. I think. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay. So it had it um had two. So let's just put on uh on this one. There you go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, select the squeeze page. Now it gives you a squeeze page, a sales page, an, op an order form, an order confirmation, and thank you page. Um, and when you see this little triangle here, that means that you need to select a template. And I'm going to show you guys how to edit all these templates. But um, they give you a lot of different templates to start off with. So like if you, if you don't really have an idea or you are confused on what your look should be you can get these templates for free and just scroll down and just find something that matches your um, particular um, niche or just particular product so you can also hover over these different um, tabs here and you can see sales page product launch form order form but since this is a squeeze page it's giving us an opt-in so let's just look at let's look at something like this uh, actually let's look at something like this okay it looks like a formula or like some type of um, makeup or something like that so we can select that template let's just select all the templates for the different funnel steps these are called funnel steps you can see here funnel steps these are the steps that the people are going to be taking so you're going to send people to the squeeze page uh, once they opt in meaning they give us their email and name they're going to go to the sales page where we're going to try to convince them to buy our product and then they go to the order form which is where they put in their information. And I'm gonna show you guys how to add new steps. So um, like if you wanna do an upsell or a downsell, depending on what you're selling, you can do that as well. But before we do that, let's just set up the sales page. So let's look at the sales page. These are the templates that we have. Um, so let's just look at a few sales pages to see if we see one that we like or if we see one that matches the um, the squeeze page that we selected let's see here um let's let's select so there's so many to select from guys so i'm trying to find one that looks really good Let's let's check this one, okay? 
because we could change out the colors and all that stuff later. So let's just select that one. And then we're going to go to the order form step now. So this process is really simple. Um, all we're doing is just selecting templates and then we're just going to edit them, right? We're going to change them, change the fonts, change the color schemes so that it matches what we're actually selling. And we're just selecting all these the different templates that they provide uh, to us. So, I like this one. Again, we can always change this out. We're just gonna make this quick so we don't, we're not spending too much time just looking at templates. Um, and then we're gonna go to the order confirmation page and select a order confirmation template. And the good thing about these templates is they're already like um, configured so it goes to the next step meaning you don't really have to do anything besides add the products let me show you guys how to do that um, so once you add the product it automatically will go to the order confirmation page and vice versa like once you go to the squeeze page it goes to the sales page and then the sales page will go to the order form um, so that's that's really nice that we don't really have to do anything about um, setting that up I like this one just because it kind of matches what we're doing you don't really need a thank you page. You can have a thank you page if you want to. Um, the order confirmation page is where uh, the person sees what they bought. And the thank you page is more so like say, just saying um, more, like giving them more information basically. Um, not necessarily showing them what they bought or like what um, their order details were. That's where the order confirmation page comes in. So just keep that in mind where the thank you page is more about giving more information. So if you have a membership area or something like that, you can you know give them more details um, about that or anything like that so we don't really need one we can just select this one just because um all right so we got our templates now what i want to show you guys is how to edit the template itself so let's go into one of these final steps so let's just select this one the squeeze page And let's click on edit page, okay? And this is where we're able to open up the editor, which is going to allow us to edit different things, edit out the logo, edit out everything else, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is let's just see if we can edit this logo here. So this is a image element, and you can add different elements by just clicking on this plus icon, and this will pop up where you can add a headline, subheadline, paragraph, a list, different things that you can add um, in terms of elements but since this is just a header and we're just having a image here let's just try to change that out um, let's see if we have something we could just change it to the click funnels logo but we can also upload different things here by just clicking on upload and we could select different images from our computer you can also search for different images from Pixabay or Icon Finder or Unsplash.com. You can just type in something there and just click search and then double click and it'll upload into your library. So let's just use the ClickFunnels one just show you how it changes things out. So you can see it changes the image here to um, the ClickFunnels logo. Now what we can do is we can also um, edit this text if we wanted to just by opening over or hovering over to the orange area. Right? So please let us know if there's anything we can do. I would probably add an exclamation here. And then what you can do here is you can make links. So if you, if you highlight questions, right, and hit this little chain link here, you can put a link here. So if we say click help dot click funnels, right? Boom, now it's hyperlinked and now we can change the color of this as well to something else if we want to. And now if that's that's clickable now, so if someone were to click on it, they can. So we could change out this image the same way, just going over to the orange area, going to settings, and then click on this, and then just change out that image to whatever we want. So let's say we're doing a gift card or something, right? I don't know, that's the product. And then you could say apply. Um, this is where they would enter their name, so you can change out um, this element or add a new one so let's say if you wanted to add a phone number option so you can say what i like to do is i like to clone things so just clicking this little document icon here and then pulling it below this and then you just change out this text so you're not really wasting time 
Um, so you can say what's your phone number and then we can also duplicate this and pull this one down below and then we can change out the name part so if you click on the orange area again and go to the settings you can change out the input type to phone number okay you can see it, cha it changes and you can say type it here you can also say optional or something like that and then it types it in you could also make it required or not required and you can do that for each of these elements so you can make the name required not required the email address is the only one that has to stay required because that's how we um, that's how ClickFunnels gets the information. But aside from that, you can change everything else out. So again, you can change out all these images, change out the colors. So let me change, let me show you how to change the color. So if you hover over to the orange area again, you can change the text color to something else, um, and then you can change the bold color as well to something else. So. Say for example, if I wanted this to say free shipping and I wanted this to be orange, I could just change this to, and then I'll change to orange. Free shipping, we can't wait for you to try our product. So you can do that for all these different texts. Um, and then again, you can change up the image, make these hyperlinked. Um, but yeah, so it's really simple. So once someone submits the page, and this is what you always want to keep it as, if you're trying to collect information, you always want it to be submit to the page. So if you hover over this button and go to the orange area and click on set action, you'll be able to change different actions for the button. So you can submit order slash submit form. And this happens for, uh, you want to select this for um, when you're submitting orders and when you're submitting a form. Uh, this opens the pop-up. So if you wanted this to open the pop-up and then you can show the pop-up and then edit the pop-up. but Again, for submitting information, collecting information, it always should be submit order slash form. You can do Facebook opt-ins. You can do go to website URL. So if you want to go to a um, other destination, you can do that. The go to next step in funnel is kind of not. I won't say useless, but it's it's basically like if you're trying to go or if you have a like for example the next step like if you have a sales page that doesn't um, collect information, it's just showing information. You can go to the next step in funnel, right? Because you're not submitting the form, you're just you're just showing them information, trying to get them to the order form, and then this can scroll to different areas of the funnel. And this is a show slash hide action. So, like for example, if you hit this button, it's going to hide certain things and show certain things depending on what you select. So that can be useful if you're trying to set up a survey or something like that. So once you're done, you just click on save, right? And then you can also set up integrations. Um, so like if you're trying to get this information into Active Campaign. Um, you want to do that now before I talk about that I just want to preface this save um, thing ClickFunnels does not have an auto save so you want to make sure that you're always saving um, your pages as you make edits because you never know what could happen sometimes um, it might disconnect or something like that and you lose all your work so you want to make sure you're always saving okay um, so you can add integrations so for example, if, I'm, if I want to sync this to Active Campaign and it's already integrated into my account, you just click Add to List and then you select the list that you want. Now, if you're not familiar with adding integrations, you want to make sure that you reach out to the support team if you're confused. They do have a really comprehensive um, help documentation in regards to this, but if it's still not clear to you, always reach out to the support um, because they're, they're really helpful in terms of helping you get where you need to be. So definitely do that. You want to always make sure that your integration is on. So for example, if I want to select this um, demo list that I have set up, I don't know where it is. Uh, I might have deleted it. So let's just select this one. For now, you will see it says connected and then you'll be good to go. So whenever someone opts in here, it's going to go to that list. Okay, so you can also change out the SEO metadata so you can change the title, description, and you can also do some custom CSS and track and code stuff. Change the background color if you want to like a more universal thing. Doesn't matter. All right, so that's pretty much how you edit it. It's very simple. Um, and then you would do that for all the funnel steps that you have the template, you know, take your time. One thing I didn't show you is like if you want to change out the header color here, um, hover over to the green area, which is a section and you click on the settings icon and then you'll be able to change the background color to something different than what it is so whatever you want you can do that as well and that's the same for this area as well you could change out that color to to whatever you want okay so you're not you're not um, 
you could do pretty much whatever you want. You're not like limited limited in terms of customization, which is really, really nice. And it's super easy to just change things and just select a template, change it out and go. Especially if you're new, you're not really familiar with sales funnels or click funnels. You can just select a template, change it out to what you want and then just go and learn as you go, right? Um, all right, so now we got that. We've done the same thing for the Swedish page. You do the same thing for the sales page. Now the order form is where you add products. Um, so you want to make sure that first of all that you before you even try to add products that you have a payment gateway So you want to hover over to this area and you want to go to payment gateways Okay, and this is where you're going to be able to add a payment integration. So for me, I use stripe so um, If you have something else you just click on add new payment integration And then you'll be able to select the different payment integration that you have infusionsoft clickbank jvzoo stripe obviously um, easy pay direct blue snap now we have a paypal v2 integration um, Entreport, Recurly, NMI, Warrior Plus, etc. So like you can have you have options basically is what I'm saying. I like Stripe because a it's the easiest to set up and b they're just really um, their UI is great and it, it just makes sense. Okay, like everything else in my opinion it's very complicated and like and like for example Infusionsoft makes things so complicated for no reason at all. Uh, so if you're new just click just do Stripe and there's documentation on that as well. It's very simple. All you have to do is click add new integration, select Stripe, make sure you're signed into Stripe. If you don't have a Stripe account, create a Stripe account and then connect the two and it's that easy. Um, so once you have done that, you want to click on the order form funnel step, go to products here, which is a tab, and then you'll be able to add a product. So you click on add product and then we can start adding um, a product. So we can say test product, right? And then select the Stripe account. The price can be five dollars, whatever price you want. It has to be more than um, so. It has to be a dollar, at least a dollar. Can't be like twenty-five cents or fifty cents or anything like that. So you do five dollars, and then you can say um, price. Make sure you have the correct currency. But the price display on order form is something like if you want to change, like if you don't want to show five dollars, you want to show something like um, just pay shipping or something like that, right? Then it'll only say just pay shipping. It won't say the five dollar price mark. So you can say just pay shipping, only five dollars, right? So then people know that's only five dollars, but you're just paying shipping instead of just the five dollar amount. Um, and then a one time product is just a one time product, right? They're not buying um, a subscription. Now subscriptions, you can do subscriptions inside of ClickFunnels. Um, you have to set it up inside of Stripe. So you definitely want to go to help.clickfunnels.com and type in Stripe subscriptions. And then you should get an article that will teach you how to do that. It's fairly simple, but again, if you're in, if you're um, frustrated or you, you know you just don't follow along well, just reach out to the help support um, team, and they'll they'll definitely get you squared away. Okay, so you want to go to one time integration for this example. You can give it a product description, so test product, whatever. Right. Um, you can also add a product limiters. That's a little advanced. So I'm not going to go over that, but it's it's simple. I just this video is more about setting up the funnel itself rather than setting like features for the for the funnel. But you can have product quantity limiters. All right. So then once we're done with that, that's pretty much it. You can set up a fulfillment email so you can say thank you for your purchase, access your purchase here. Thing about this is it does not allow you to get um, order confirmation, so you can't send the order confirmation here. Um, so what you could do is send them to the thank you page and then on the thank you page link them back to the order confirmation page but if you don't want a fulfillment email sent out all you have to do is erase the subject headline and it will not send out okay email integration is similar to the integration that we did on the squeeze page however this is for specific products so if someone buys product a but not product b you can add them to specific lists based on what they bought you can also do that in smart list but that's a little advanced so i'm not going to go over that as well um, but you can do that. You have the option. You can also set up shipping um, fulfillment options. So for right now, I only have Kunaki, which I never use. Disc delivered, I never use. But you can also integrate with Shipping Station, and this is for the affiliate area. If you're if you're interested about affiliate area, I do have a video about setting up Backpack, which is ClickFunnels affiliate program, um, where you can actually have affiliates that are promoting your products. All right. So once you're done with that, you just click on Create Product. Um. Oh, okay. So let's change this five dollars. Click create product. All right. So we're good to go, right? So now we have our order form. Our order confirmation page is 
just an order confirmation page so it, it will show like what we bought right so let's say that we want to add an upsell so if someone buys our or order form from our order form and we, we have an additional product that we want them to buy we can do an upsell so to do that all you have to do is click on add new step and we can just say upsell one and we can just say testing upsell and you can have as many upsells as you want and downsells as you want so all you have to do is create uh, a new funnel step so by clicking this button that says add new step and then once you click on add new step you're going to be able to um, select an upsell from the template now they do give you a lot of templates so you can change it out depending on what you want so let's say um, one click upsell or one time offer let's just select this template so what it's going to do is it's going to show um, like yes I want this and it's going to automatically add it to their cart or, or to their product so they don't have to um, put in their credit card information again which is really nice so all they have to do is put in their credit card information one time in the order form and then we would be able to upsell them so let's actually move this upsell step to after the order form and then what we do is we just add a product to the upsell step okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this out and I'll show you guys how to test it and then you can um, see what the process is so let's actually add an upsell product so let's say test upsell one it's gonna be stripe again this product's gonna be five dollars as well and then we'll just leave this as a one time and we'll leave the um, display blank because it's really no display options and then testing upsell right and then for this we'll just leave the fulfillment email off by deleting the subject headline we'll click on create product and then what you want to do to test your order form or test your funnel is you want to go to settings here um, and one thing you can do is add a domain so I have a lot of domains that I can add to this but um, if you want to look at my domain video I have a video showing you how to set up domains for ClickFunnels very simple uh, we can just leave it as my subdomain for right now I'm going to scroll down here and we're going to turn this on so if you're using Stripe you can have the option to turn on test mode test mode allows you to test out the funnel without putting a real credit card information or your real credit card information in so all you have to do is turn that on and then you want, what you want to do is click on save and update settings okay and then once that happens you're going to be able to start testing out your funnel so let's test this out and we're going to open up a new incognito window I always test out funnels in incognito windows because no cash is present and you're able to really test it out to see if it works. So let's test this out and hopefully it works. So we're going to start at the squeeze page. So what's your name? I'm going to give my name, Jelani Abdul Salam. What's my phone number? Um, we'll just add that number. And then what's your best email address? We can say Jelani test mail at gmail.com and then click on change your life today. Now this is gonna bring us to the next page, which is the sales page. We didn't edit this, but again, you can edit this to whatever uh, way you want. Um, actually, there's, there's actually something that we need to go back actually. So let's redo this, okay? So this sales page is actually, it seems that for some reason, this sales page looks like it is a one-time offer funnel stuff, which is weird. So all I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly, is A, delete this because we don't need this. Um, and then what we do is just change this out to go to the next step in funnel. Let's just say that this is a sales page that's showing, hey, like buy our product, buy our product, blah, 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 right? So let's click on save. And what this is going to do, it's going to bring us to the next page in the funnel step. Um, so let's exit out of here. So technically this, this template that we selected was not the right template basically. That template seemed to be an OTL template um, instead of a sales page template, which is fine, it doesn't really matter because you're just changing out the things anyway. Um, so let's try that again. So let's open this up in an incognito window. And this is actually good because when you're testing out your funnels, I'm gonna show you guys a trick to test out your funnels correctly. When you're testing out your funnels, always make sure that you're using a unique email address. So you see previously I used jelanitestmail at gmail.com. We're not going to use that anymore. We're going to use Jelani testmail, um plus numbers, right? So whatever number sequence that you want to add there, you can. But this will act as a unique email address, okay? So that's really important that when you are testing out your funnels that you use a unique email address. So let's click on change your life. And then 
it'll bring us to the next step. This is going to bring us to the next step. I'm going to copy over this, that here, and then we're going to click on complete order. So this is the upsell and it's going to bring us um, to the order confirmation page. So if we order, if we click on yes I want this deal, it's going to add this to our product and if we say no, it's still going to take us to the order confirmation page. So depending on, it doesn't matter what you pick on or, or select. So if you select this, it's going to add the $5 product to our order. If we select this, it's going to just bring us to the order confirmation page. In any event, it, they're both going to bring us to the order confirmation page. So let's just say that we want this deal. It's going to say working. And then you can see here that on the order confirmation page, I have my test product, September edition, $5. And then I have my test upsell, one, $5, right? So that's what I bought. Um, so it's very simple to set up the sales funnel. Um, obviously this video is a little longer just because I wanted to show you the steps and just give you some tips and uh, techniques. But the idea here is to sign up for ClickFunnels by clicking the link below, um, get your two week free trial, and then just test out the, the funnels. Just test it out, get some templates going, see how it works in terms of functionality, see how it works for your business, or if you don't have a business yet, see how it could work for a potential idea that you may have. Um, it's all about getting in the the zone and just working the kinks out, right? Working working out what you don't know so that you can know it, can get better at it, and ultimately just crush it with ClickFunnels um, because it's so easy to create a sales funnel. Um, you can do this easily in 15 minutes. Obviously, I said like I, I extended the video a little longer so I can teach you guys some things and some tips, but you could do this in 15 minutes, set it up, and start selling things online really quickly. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button and hit that alert button as well because I'm always posting new videos. Um, thank you guys so much. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment below. Uh, but other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.